It was an absolutely freezing Christmas Eve on the Stobble Valley Railway. All services had stopped for the next few days, apart from one special full of presents that the engines had bought each other. The engines were all at Stober Roundhouse trying to keep warm, but were arguing about who should collect the presents. Oh come on Stan, it's not like you've actually done anything today. Yeah, I mean you haven't even got us any presents. What? You haven't bought us any presents. Mine to you was expensive. I'm really bad at Christmas. If you'd said we could have helped you. Well, I did take our fair structure and replace it with a very unfair structure. Why didn't you buy us presents, Stan? I, I have no money and... I'm not good at Christmas. That's a lie. I saw you with that haul last night. How much did she charge? That may ever so slightly be why I can't afford your presents. Oh, well, if we're not that important to you, you can go away. Off you go. <laughs> Stupid celebration anyway. Stan steamed off out of the warmth of the roundhouse and out into the cold of the night. The predicted snowstorm had arrived and the snow was blurring Stan's vision. He was going to go to the industrial estate out of the way, but he couldn't see where he was going, and soon knew he must have passed the point. Suddenly the snowstorm stopped, and Stan knew he wasn't on the SVR anymore. A small station lay in front of him with sidings on the left and a railway running up the side of the mountain. Uh, what, what the hell? This is weird. Stan passed through the station and entered a walled area. On his left there were more sidings. He ventured into them, keeping himself off the main line and out of the cold. He thought he'd be better off sleeping and finding his way around in the morning. He settled himself down between the flower wagons and soon fell asleep. After what didn't seem too long, Stan woke up. He was not in the same place he'd fallen asleep in. Well, at least he thought it wasn't. It couldn't be. He was in a shed and there wasn't the slightest smell of flour. He was replaced by the smell of coal dust. This is more than weird. What the hell? Suddenly, Stan could hear the sounds of small engines. He closed his eyes. The noises got closer. Soon, voices were heard right out the shed. See, I told you, he just stopped outside the junction and then toddled off to the flour mill sidings. Good work, B1. I haven't seen one of these before. If he wakes up, get him to take some trains down to the junction. If he doesn't, you know where to take him. Do you mean... Yeah, yeah, I mean... That word makes me shake. Ugh. Me too, B3. Just watch him. I'll go speak to B2. Okay, see you later. Stan waited for the sound of the supposed B1 to disappear before reopening his eyes. B3, whoever that was, wasn't there either. But now, moving trucks in the distance showed Stan that he was safe to look around. The shed he was in was next to some large buildings and a siding. Oh, it's a colliery! Stan, feeling braver about his whereabouts, quietly moved out of the sheds and into the cold air. Trucks he'd seen moving around were now heading towards the coal chutes. B3 placed them under the chute and almost jumped to see Stan standing outside of the shed. What? You're awake? Y yeah. Hi. Could you tell me where the hell I am? Please? You're here at Blind Gwynior Colliery. What? Where? South Wales? What? Oh dear, you're not an intelligent one, are you? Oi! I'll have you know that- Whatever. Now, now you're awake, you can help me here. See? It's two o'clock in the morning. Christmas morning. Who works on Christmas Day? We do. B1 had returned with B2. Stan was starting to feel rather ill. Oh, I swear I'm seeing triple. H how much did I have last night? Oof. You're not seeing triple. There's three of us. B1, B2, and B3. And I guess the B stands for Blind Gwyniog. Blimey, you're cleverer than you look. Watch it. To answer your question, yes, we do work on Christmas Day. The colour is always working, but whilst we work, we can remember what we have and be thankful for that. But, 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 but what about presents? You, you, you give presents, right? Well, of course it's Christmas, stupid. Damn. Why'd you ask, anyway? Back on my railway, 
We were discussing Christmas presents, but I hadn't got any from my friends, and they'd gotten them for me, but, you know, that's not on. Christmas isn't about receiving, you know, it's about giving. Yeah, but what if I didn't want presents? Then surely you'd be thankful for them even if you hadn't asked for them. Yeah, but enough chit chat, we've lost five minutes already. You, large engine, what's your name? Stan? Right, Stan. Seeing as you caused this mess, it's your job to take a double length train down to the junction. I don't even work here. Christmas is about giving, remember? I don't even know how the hell you are. Should that matter? We're all steam engines. And seeing as you've neglected your best friends, I think a little help to some strangers ought to help you out. This is so stupid. Stan set off and waited whilst B3 shunted his train into position. Stan backed onto the train and set off. Thank you, Stan, for this. You're a lifesaver. It's the last service for the townspeople. Stan felt a little bit of pride, but he didn't show it, because, well, what the hell? Once he'd got out of earshot of the three tank engines, they spoke to each other. Is B4 in place? Yeah, let's see what our friend makes of him, shall we? Unbeknownst to Stan, the engines had a plan to show him up. Stan rushed along the line and up the slope towards the reservoir. He reached the flat and saw the viaduct, but there was something on it. He proceeded with caution, but stopped, for there was a figure of an engine that was definitely not a steam engine. Stanya 5440, you have not found the true meaning of Christmas. What? Unless you change your ways, you will forever be trapped here in Blank Winyog, doomed to traverse this line for all eternity! How, 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 how do I change my ways? Oh, come on! Show some Christmas spirits! Give a little! But I have no money? Hang on, there's a, there's a few more. Uh, treat your friends. Since when did ghostly engines have money? Bank of wages! Oh, that makes sense. Now, be gone and make your friends' Christmases the best one yet! Oh, and don't forget to deliver the culture to Sidon. Right. The mysterious engine disappeared, and Stan, slightly more bewildered, carried on his journey. They reached the junction and left the wagons in the siding before heading to the spur next to the station. He thought about how to get home. No sooner had he put it through his smoke box, did it start snowing, a large storm of snow. He decided he tried to get home, so he left the siding and ventured onto the main line. The snow was everywhere, and he couldn't see much. Suddenly he heard a voice. Stan! Stan! He won? Stan! Oh, wake up, Stan, you stupid hunk of metal, and get out my way! What? Where? Huh? Stan opened his eyes. He was on the SVR, and he'd stopped right on the points that led out of the Stobra sidings. I'm back! Stobra, how I love you! No weird tank engines, no colliery. Oi, what the hell are you on about? Oh, hi Dan. Why aren't you in the roundhouse? I'm going to pick up the presents that you wouldn't get. Oh, don't worry about that, I'm on the case. Stan rushed off in the direction of Retford. He had a plan. Return to the roundhouse with the present train. Hey guys, look what I have. Oh, and don't worry, I've got presents from me too. What? Who are you, and what have you done with 5440 Scrooge? Don't be silly, Vaughn. It's Christmas, a time for celebration, and a time for receiving, and a time for giving, so here are your damn presents. Stan joined the engines in the roundhouse, and they opened their presents. Vaughn had received a signed picture of him and Oliver bullied. Dan received a book of Welsh branch lines. Mr. Joe got a bottle of the finest cider Stan could find. Well, there's certainly put effort into these presents, but where did you get the money from? Bank of wages, mate. Oh, that makes sense. Who cares? It's Christmas. Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas. Oh, and here's to a great new year, whatever it brings. <laughs>